listen, you, you who are lonely and just want some comfort, companionship, someone to talk to, do not let these scammers take advantage of you. Y'all have got to stop. Romance scams, they made over $1 billion in 2021. If someone loves you and care about you, they're not going to want to get money from you, insinuate you should give them money. You've worked your life for Three years after her husband died, Sandy, a grandmother in Missouri, thought she met a German businessman who lived in Atlanta on an over 50s dating site online. I thought, oh, I have finally met somebody, you know, my husband's got met somebody that I can care about. Um, that cares about me. He was very attentive. But the FBI says behind those messages was Hugo Cesar Anelli, who was scamming a number of victims out of their money at the same time. Over their two-year relationship, Sandy ended up giving him $114,000. Just about devastated me. I almost lost my house over it. Um, because the bank said I had to pay the money back. It is literally another epidemic that's going on in the United States. FBI assistant agent in charge Chris McRae says these scammers often work in groups overseas and target a certain kind of person. The women are over 40 years old and they're either going to be divorced, widowed, or have some sort of disability. The FBI points to red flags like someone claiming to be overseas in very austere conditions. They're either going to be fighting a war or they're deployed in the military or they're building, you know, clean water wells for people in. Or someone who says their cell service is restricted or spotty, so they will usually only text or message. Or they'll try to get you to communicate off dating apps that could have safeguards in place. And they're going to try to move you to either email or to another uh, encrypted social media app. Anelli was caught and sentenced to three years in prison. But on his way to report to prison, he fled the country and is still on the run. In this case, we've got a, a fugitive and he's overseas and uh, he is certainly not uh, paying his victims restitution. Special Agent Steve Evans says when it comes to dating online. If you have not met this person, do not send this person money. And, you know, trust your judgment, uh, trust the, that, that sense that you feel in your stomach. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. A hard lesson Sandy learned firsthand. People need to realize it's not safe out there. Now, the true number of victims is hard to know since many victims are too embarrassed to report they've been scammed. But in 2021, there were 500 reported victims just here in Georgia. The FBI encourages you to report the crime 